If you see a Muslim man or a Muslim woman dressing modestly, they're giving you a message. They're saying, don't deal with my body, deal with my mind. One of the most fascinating things about Islam is its sense of a global community, or brotherhood. More than 45 countries in the world have majority Muslim populations. In countries like India and China, Muslims are in a minority, but still number over 100 million. And the number of Muslims is growing at a faster rate than any other community. Well, Islam distinguishes itself from the great religions of the world. Most of the religions are named after the place or the founder or the people. But Islam is a qualitative term in that it shows that there are people who have certain qualities. It gives you a feeling of the relationship of humanity to the Creator. So Islam actually refers to submission to the Creator and it is not restricted to any nation, any race or any people. It is the universal way. The Prophet Muhammad said, those of you do not, do not, who do not show mercy are not shown mercy. So the, the Islamic society is one that is expected as an essential element in its humanity to show mercy to others. He allowed people to literally, quite literally, be themselves, but again within guidelines and parameters. So he had this vast array of people around him. He had Arabs, he had non-Arabs, he had uh, blacks, he had light-skinned people. Um, he had blind men. The major duties of Islam, the belief in one God, the prayer, the fasting, the giving of charity, going to pilgrimage once in a lifetime, all have a similar stream that they are running along it. And that is that they build within people moral character, they unite us with the rest of humanity, and they give us a type of purity that can help us through the trials of life. Muslims pray in five different parts of the day. Each of the five daily prayers takes only a few minutes to perform. Praying in congregation is highly recommended and is a must on Friday, the Islamic day of congregation. Prayer is the remembrance of Allah. At this particular time of prayer, you serve Allah. And uh, it's a constant reminder of your duty to Allah. There are people who understand how important um, priority you emphasize on Islam and your prayer that comes first after the recognition of the unity of God, prayer is the most essential pillar in the Islamic teaching. It is the, uh, it is the pivotal center of the Muslim society. I consider it to be the um, magnetic force in the community because, you see, when Muslims are praying together, they're, they're united. Plus, after the prayer, they're apt to speak to one another. They become aware of each other's needs after the prayer. If someone's having a problem they'll discuss that problem. They'll strive to help each other. So it's always been a pulling force. The next most important duty in Islam is called zakat, or the poor due. Muslims donate two and a half percent of their excess wealth each year to the needy and less fortunate. The mosque has traditionally been the hub of this charitable activity. The purpose behind zakat is to purify one's wealth, which Muslims believe comes from God.